Um, first lifter is uh, Matthew Pierce. 100. No, sorry, Robert Spruta. Robert Spruta, first lifter, 175 kilos. Yes. Let's see. And it's a good lift. Good it was a good lift for Sprutta. We keep the same weight for Lars Kirkebön from Norway. Matthew and Kirk. next will be Kirkebön, Norway. 175, same weight Mark for him. Kirkebön, Norway. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, but I <laughs> missed the other one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's coming. Bill is coming. Will he come back? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. And I will Let's just hand see over. the lifting here now. It's a second yes, attempt a uh, for Lars Kirkeburn, Norway. Okay. And it was a good lift. And next will be 185 for Matthew Pierce, Great Britain. Yeah, Matt has a really good. Uh, he did a really good squat. Yes. In the squat session, I think it was his BB too. Yeah, it was definitely his BB. Okay. Now I hand over to. Oh, sorry. Uh, wait. It's a good lift. It was a good lift for uh, Matthew Pierce, 185 kilos. And uh, we keep that keep the same weight for Kovalchuk from Russia, also 185 kilos. Yes, Kovalchuk 185. Yes, good start for him too. And of course, it will be the result from the referees. Good lift. And now I hand over. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you, Tom. So we're here again with uh, Bill Jamieson and Mikro Svegade. Uh, belatedly, <laughs> admittedly. <laughs> Let's see the lifting here. It's 190 kilos. Cruz Martins. So welcome, Bill. Oh, thank you. Oh. It was that Vita Vita Vitami. Welcome and bienvenuto, bienveniti. All the languages you speak in Canada, right? Oh yeah, <coughs> yeah. French and English. I only speak English. So. so let's see. He was very good in the squad. 190 is not a bad start, 190 kilos. Yep. Did he live just barefooted? Come on, 
That's a good lift from uh, the Brazilian. Well, there hasn't been too many Brazilians over the years in powerlifting, but in international anyway. I, but I remember another another heavyweight, super heavyweight, I believe it was in Birmingham in 1992 or three. And, uh, the juniors? Uh, no, it was Open World Championships. It was an open. And he was, I, I think uh, he didn't win, but he... Uh, he was a good lifter, good squatter, especially. Okay, so let's see. Stefan from Germany. That was quite easy. Yes, it's a good lift. Very good start for Stefan. Okay, we put 200 kilos at the bar. We had three lifters, same weight. Lutzis, Sander, and Marcus Hell. Bar is loaded for Mihail Lutzis Greece. Wow, the Greek is a good bencher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he finished the squat at 260, and he's opening at 200. Now, look at his chest heaving up. Yeah. Ah, it's a fairly good lift. It's a good lift. It's very good, Mihal. Okay, keep the same way for Blaine Summer, USA. Now, Blaine Summers. Artist Holden, Summer, USA. Marcus and next lifter. He's getting a set, getting his chest nice and high. So it's less distance to push the bar. Well, talk about high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Stop. Nice lift. Pretty easy. He must have a Very circumference easy. of a barrel or something. <laughs> He's like a big guy. Yeah. Yes, it's a good lift. That was an easy lift. That's the good thing about the three lifts. If you're good in the bench press because you have short arms and a big chest, the short arms don't help you in the deadlift, so it evens itself out. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a toll that counts really right. in powerlifting. Yeah, so it's a test of all over body strength. That's why powerlifting is not just a bench press. Powerlifting is three lifts: squat, bench press, and deadlift. Yeah, many people actually think that bench press is powerlifting, well, and they even mix up the names yeah. and they call bench press competitions uh, powerlifting competition, yeah. which is uh, technically incorrect. That's that's true. It's powerlifting is there's a test of all round body strength: three lifts. Whereas uh, a bench press competition is, is just that, a bench press competition. Now we are in the 200-ish uh, area. Yes, it's a good lift. Yeah, it's let's move it up. Okay, we put 205, 205 kilos on the bar for Stephen Pritchard, Australia. So, Stephen. Ah, uh, he had a very good day in the squat. I can tell you that. Yes. He did. And he's all, you know, he looks composed and concentrated. Yeah. <laughs> More importantly, strong. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was asked here, do I miss the curl being a power lift? Well, the, that was before, just before I lifted that the curl was uh, in the state, in, in, in Great Britain, in, in, in England. I think it was a trick question. It, it was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's true. It actually, it actually was before. Easy lift there. Before there was international powerlifting, there was, uh, uh, the, the English had the curl and the, and the Americans had the curl in powerlifting. I think we had it in Canada too, but it was just uh, five or six years or so, or seven years before my entrance into powerlifting hmm. and uh, no I think this is better because like I said before uh, it's a test of all round body strength the, 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 th the present three power lifts the squat testing the legs the bench press testing the upper body and the, the back the deadlift test the back and hips so I think it's the current format is very good I'll try and talk louder so <laughs> it's uh, the last 
Bencher in the round. Tero Sepanen of Finland. Oh, the Finnish are generally good benchers. Oh, controlled. Just like his squad. That was a very easy lift. That's very controlled. Yeah, the Finns have always, they, they come in in the early 70s, they come into powerlifting internationally. Yeah. Uh, they've always, of course, been notable for their deadlift. Absolutely. I been very good deadlifters. Very whether, good. Whether that's their training routine or genetics or whatever, but uh, they've always been good, very good deadlifters. I just talked to the Finnish general uh, secretary of the Finnish Powerlifting Federation. They just uh, celebrated their 40th anniversary last year. And he said it's, uh, they even have sayings, it's the, it's the uh, actually the lumberjacks that were uh, <laughs> good lifters because they had to, you know, Use eat and uh, pull and drag and pull everything oh, that's true. by hand. There might be truth, I can understand that. There might be a lot of truth to that. Of course, you had the good deadlifters, like there was one guy in the 67 kilo class, 67.5, uh, I forget his name. But uh, uh, when was, was that? Uh, that was in the early 70s. Huh. And another uh, guy who was always always in um, competition with Ron Collins for the deadlift record. Oh, yeah. He uh, was, I think uh, his name was Companini. Veli Companini. Was yeah. yeah. He had a terrific deadlift. Him and, him and Collins always fought it out yes. for the deadlift record. Hokkinen. Yeah, Hokkinen. Yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah. He, he held the world record in the 82 point uh, right. half kilogram deadlift yeah. uh, ever up to the point where we, uh, the IPF canceled it, yeah. uh, reorganized the weight classes. Yeah. Nobody was able to uh, break that record. Yeah, it was, he was a fantastic deadlifter. But inter interesting to know that, that on that count, that, uh, but let's see first uh, Robert from Poland. A good lift. What the referees are saying. Yes, ah, it's, a good lift. it's interesting uh, on uh, this Valley Kumpuin and Nimi and the Ron Collins. <laughs> Ron Collins was. He was actually deadlifting 355 when this guy had to take 357.5 to deadlift, to outlift uh, Ron oh, yeah. on the deadlift. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, at at the body weight of 82.5 uh, yeah. kilograms. Yeah, that was great, it was great. <coughs> okay, so it's Matthew Pierce. Yeah, it's uh, your typical second attempt. As you said, yeah. Okay. That was fairly good. So it's the Russian now. Uh, placing third in the squat. Yeah. Oh, he missed. Uh, you don't see it many uh, too often. Uh, the Russians missing their lifts usually. Yeah, well, he they, had. They're very strategic. Well, one thing that he could have done there, he didn't take. He still had a couple of inches. He could have gone wider, and that would help his finish. Yeah, it was a close grip. If he went a little bit closer, of course, he's a big man, so even to the marks are, uh, are sort of close. But he had, he still had a couple of could have gone on a few inches on his side, and that might have helped his finish. There. So let's see the Swedish. The fans are going. Uh, not again. <laughs> Maybe uh, it doesn't come through the uh, streaming, uh, the fans and the cheering.
But it's happening, I can assure you. But look at the look at he he is lifting without a shoe. He must have deadlift slippers. He has to have shoes on. Oh, he yeah. can't lift his socks, so he probably has uh, gymnastic slippers on. No, it's okay. It's just the same color as yeah. his socks. So. I just didn't get a good look at it. Yeah, there is a question there for the strict overhead press to become a power lift. It wouldn't be so strict. <laughs> That's my take on this. Yeah, well, I, I no, I, th I think uh, the, the press was a good strength lift. I mean, when it was in an Olympic lifting, that was the only strength lift that you had. Not saying that the other lifts, the snatch and the clean and jerk, aren't, do not test your strength. There's a lot of speed and quickness involved in, in the snatch and the clean and jerk, where the press was a, a, a very good uh, test of strength. But uh, to bring, I don't see a real reason to bring it into powerlifting. I mean, you can't add another lift, it's just too long. And we already have a bench press which tests your upper body strength. So I think it's good the way it is. I, I, I think it was uh, scrubbed from the Olympic agenda because of uh, too hard to judge. Yeah, it was, it too, was too, too hard to judge. That's what I heard. And plus the injury. Yeah, it was too much back bend. It, it got to be yeah. a, 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 you know, like a standing anyhow. It was like a standing bench press. If you see some pictures, of yeah, some yeah, pictures, yeah, absolutely. They had so the much guys were doing a back bridge. Oh, they had so much literally. back bend and so much arch that it looked like a standing bench press yes. sometimes. Which was also very bad for your lower back as well, you know. Wow, push, push, big, push, fight, push. big fight, big fight. I was almost there. Sorry, sorry, Daniel. Come back. Uh, same way for yeah, it was a 12.5 uh, uh, kilo jump. Two. Okay, so. Big Sumner, Blaine. Come on, Blaine. Let's see. Very big chest. Yeah. And it's a fairly easy bad. lift. Not too bad. Yes, it's a good lift. Very good play. Okay, we keep the same way. Evan Pielorz, Germany, the bar is loaded. the German is also going for 207.5 yeah. he might he might be going for the silver medal in the bench of course if oh that was easy yes it's a good lift very good step on Okay, we put 210 kilo on the bar. Two lifters, we start with high Lutzi Screes. Bar is loaded, Lutzi Screes. Markusen, next lifter. It's a 10 kilo increase for Lutzi. In the bench press, it's a fairly big jump, right? Up. Uh, 10 kilos, yeah. Well, well no, maybe not, not really. from the opener. <coughs> no, well, it's, yeah. it's uh, percentage-wise, he's you know, he's it's not it's not a lo real big. Yeah, lift. but it's a close grip bench, yeah. fairly close yeah. too. Wow, he did it. That's no, not bad. Good, good finish. Yes, it's a good lift. Okay, same weight for last mark is in Norway. Richard, hard is loaded. Last mark is in Norway. So, Markusen from Norway. <laughs> yes, just speaking about Norway. Yesterday we had a, <laughs> a Norwegian fan making the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, in the last deadlifts of the 105 class, I was. 
He had his blowing his horn and he had his hat on and uh, he was leading the crowd. <laughs> yes, was, absolutely. And da dancing yeah. <laughs> on top of that. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure the referee said to take yeah. the bar. Ah, it's an Olaf. Yeah. So, Steven. He looks very focused. Very focused. All business. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got four good lifts. Four out of four so far. And he's came with one thing in mind, and that's to lift heavy weights. And here he is. Very focused, very ready. Let's see. No lift off for him. Oh, nice left. Very nice. Very left. nice. And a no lift off. That's a good lift. There you go. Well, it's it's also very good that there is not even a question about judging the bench press in the raw. Uh, it makes it a lot easier. You know, I mean, there's no the, belly benching. Oh well, yeah, and with the with the bench press shirt, sometimes it hovers above your chest, and and when it touches your chest, it moves up and down the yeah. chest, so the referee can't give the signal until it stops, and it becomes motionless because the rule says it must be motionless before you get the signal to press. So it does make it easier. Now, Sepanen consolidating his lead in the bench. Very controlled. Very <laughs> nice. I mean, just coiling his, <laughs> his springs there. We're starting the second round. I mean, the third round. Okay, so let's see. It's 185. Oh. That's a good. Yeah, nice lift. I don't understand. Uh, I don't. Uh, he he uh, he his opener was 175. Then he went on to 177.5 and miss it, and then he comes back with an increase of 7.5 kilograms, and he gets the lift. Yeah, well, he must have been very confident. He must have felt that it was something technical that he did wrong, uh, because you w wouldn't usually increase your weight if you failed it. So he must have been very confident. He must have realized that he did something that uh, was really out of out of character for him. So. Uh, I think there was a question here to you, Bill. Who, in your opinion, are the three best powerlifters in the world, equipped and or unequipped? Uh, That's a tough one. I know. I think he. I think that the one, the little Russian lifter, equipped. What's the it's Small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the Fedosyenko is, uh, is incredible. I mean, how many world championships has he won? Well, I don't know. It's countless. It's quite a few, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, that uh, that's got to be one of them, right? Where they're equipped, that's one of them for sure. And unequipped is not. I haven't. Uh, it hasn't. Un unequipped hasn't been around long enough yet. But I can go back. That's all I can do to the early days <laughs> yes. where they were more or less unequipped. I mean. Uh, guys like Larry Pacifico was a great lifter. Uh, Hideki Anaba at 114. Uh, I mean, the first time he came to World Championships in 74, he squatted 440 at 440 pounds, which is uh, about 200 kilos. Yeah, 200 kilos at 114 at 52 kilo body weight. Wow. So With no supportive he, gear. Yeah, and he's 17 okay. times world champion. Kovalchuk so. missing his third in the meanwhile, so not a very good bench for the big Russian. 
Yeah, Inaba. I think he won like 15 world titles. Something like that. And uh, his te he was tall for his class and lean, so he had to have very good technique, which he did. Because mm -hmm. if he got out of position, he would bend like a pretzel. But he never got out of position. He always stayed tight. And his uh, hips were most of the time right underneath the bar, except when he pushed out of the bottom, his hips would come up to give him good drive. But then he'd get his hips back under again, and his leverage was always perfect. A big fight there. Good push in the bench there. From Matthew. Wow, it's a good, good, good lift. Now it's also a tactical fight between the guys on the bench to get the medals. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see this? Viking. Yes. <laughs> a battle cry there. Yeah. He's ready. <laughs> he looks like a Viking. He does. One of those guys you wouldn't want to meet in a black <laughs> dark That's alley. Sure. That's for sure. <laughs> he could be a nice guy. Oh. Wasn't it heaving the bar and uh, nah. sinking it in the chest? <laughs> the word, the rule now says that you can't heave it after the signal. You can't sink it after the signal. But you can it. sink it uh, before the signal. Yes, you can sink it then. But the referee has to, must, okay. should be waiting until the bar is motionless. So yeah, motionless. Until it stops sinking. Ah, this guy is coming on the in the back roads. He, he he was pretty good in the squad. Yeah, that's good. Pretty good there. And uh, good at the bench. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, probably. Deadlift will be his uh, more difficult discipline there. It's a 295, his opener, a projected opener. Let's see the Brazilian, he missed his lift. I think it was a big increase, this 12 point, yeah. uh, 5 kilos. <coughs> Yeah, that was oh, obviously a very heavy weight. But it was a nice effort. So, Markusen. Of Norway. <laughs> it just reminds me that they are seeing these big guys benching 210 and 230, even 250. It just reminds me of the inflating numbers of the geared lifting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That nowadays, if you are an uh, equipped lifter at 210, even in the men's 66 kilogram class is completely available and within reach and now if the big guys are benching 210. So let's see, the Greek is going for I think he's going for the ten. bronze medal. Oh yeah. Or the silver. First silver. This is for the silver medal in the bench. And he does it. He got it. He got it. 
Yes. Good left, good left. Ah, uh, yeah, I, th I think he took over. Silver. Yeah, he did. It's gonna be up to Steven Pritchard of Australia to take it back. Blaine, not a threat in the bench uh, for Lutzis, but a threat absolutely in the overall. Yes, it's a good lift for Blaine. Two to one in favor. Good. That's nice to see he, uh, him putting in good lifts now. Oh, yeah. After <coughs> the squad. <laughs> yeah. This is still not enough to get the bronze medal in the bench, but it's probably for the toll. And he does it. Wow, that's good. Two to one. I don't know what that referee is calling. It's a yellow card. Uh, the side referee, one of the side referees. It's a yellow card. So what could it be, Bill? A uh, yellow card would be. Uh, Either uh, <coughs> foot movement. Yeah, but it's kind of uh, foot movement is uh, is barred now. It's it's cancelled. Uh, oh, so foot as movement is allowed as long as you keep your feet on the ground. If yeah. you lift your foot off the ground. Yeah, if you lift it. It may have been hips. It may hips may have been off the bench. Yep. But it's hard to tell from here. What is now? Uh, the, you attended probably the technical meeting. What is now the the standard for the for the buttocks to be on the? Uh, you must have. Uh, you mustn't see see through, right? Uh, yeah, that you must. Day? You must be able to see daylight through the A's. Oh my God! Oh, it was so he didn't close, get it. Very, very close. Okay. Anyway, it was a very it nice effort. Almost there. For Pedro Sepin and Finland. And then after him, we will have you ten from Robin Bergen, who will be the last lifter oh. in the bench press. Uh, I can see that the jury has given another attempt to to Sjorgen and Robin. Oh yeah. Yeah, because uh, one of the uh, spotters uh, incidentally touched the uh, bef before, before the, the down, uh, yeah the referee Signal, yeah. indicated it. All right, so Sepanen, Pero. Uh, he's already won the gold medal in the bench. He's going yeah. for a PB probably. He was at 2.30. He was nominated at 2.30. That's 2.5 kilograms. And he's touching no. the rack. Not today. Uh, no. Good try. That was a very, very good try. Very close, Sorry. The, crowd li the crowd likes it and they appreciate the guy. And yeah, they appreciate the, the effort. Yeah, absolutely. New attempt for Robin Bergen from Sweden. Ah, the Viking is coming back to, to the big bench. Oh, the Swedish fans are loud again and <laughs> going crazy. Oh, yeah. I just got a, a message there from Stephen Jessup. He's a, he should have been here. I wish you were here, Stephen. Some people were talking about you. Pers some person who has something to do with the blind uh, powerlifting. Wow. Stephen is a blind powerlifter. 